Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma. Beside me is my husband Ash and our children Minky, Dave, Cookie and Tiny Teabag. This is my identical twin sister Suze. We speak a lot about her and we vlog our daily lives here. Thank you for joining us. To see if it's actually any good. You mean how low can you go? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Sam, Suze, that's amazing. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. And Sue's loved doing her nails so much of the day that she brought these little nail arts as well. But we haven't got a top coat, so we'll have to order one off Amazon. But how cute are the little smileys? And that holographic nail vanish that you've just done. They look absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Oh, shit, put your nails on top. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Uh, my God. much for the feedback on my little trip out it only went for a, a couple of hours but it was just so nice to get in the fresh air um at the moment we're getting we're getting four seasons in one hour it seems <laughs> so it's it's windy then rainy then sunny then freezing then mild <laughs> But yeah, the garden centre was lovely. I'm sorry I didn't get to take you around Castle Howard, the actual stately home. Um, they do open it up to the public. And I think they live in like a wing of it. But um, maybe one day we'll go around there. Maybe one day. Um, update on today. I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> and... Um, uh, I think I'd already mentioned that they've added the another fentanyl patch and a slow release oxycodone, which you can have uh, her oral oxycodone on top of that as well. And it's a bit early to say whether that is working, but other than waking up at 1am, she slept through till I woke up about Oh no, I think she was up at half five and then I woke up about the same time when she was in the loo. Uh, but I've nipped out because she's she's really desperate for some Tropicana orange juice and some turkey and they didn't have any in the kitchen so I'm going to get her some turkey and a bottle of uh, Tropicana orange juice she she really sort of craves either really juicy things and um, another tip that helps Sue is it, she, it, her drinks need to be ice cold they have to have ice in anything that is any warmer than ice cold it immediately makes her feel sick it's just like the, the, the heat of the the liquid even if it's just out out of the fridge it's just not it's not cold enough so she needs to have ice with it um so i'll get we've got a full load of ice on the go all the time and um, we just empty the ice trays out into a bag so that you don't have to keep 
um, just getting them out of the ice trays and we can immediately fill a whole ice tray back up then. So we empty them all into a plastic bag and put them um, put them in the freezer for me. Uh, well, um, I tried a new tan, magic tan, and I am mega impressed. Can you see my tan line? I only left that on for an hour and a half this morning. Um, so I will tell you guys about that and leave a link. It's not sponsored or anything. It was gifted, but a friend of mine owns the company. So I'm very thankful for getting a bottle of that um, to try out. And uh, yeah, I really like it. Uh, I, can't, I haven't got the confidence to show you a full-on tan routine anytime soon. Uh, but maybe one day. Maybe one day when I get nipped and tucked, I might show you that. If you're seeing a nip and tuck video at some point in the future, uh, I'm going to have to get the confidence to show a tan because you're going to be seeing everything on that video. <laughs> Before and after. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get this turkey, get a Tropicana. Um, Suze has just had her blood work done. Well... It was done the other day and they needed some more tests ready for her operation. Um, not going to give any dates away like I always say. But fingers crossed that's in the not too distant future. And that's for the nephrostomy change. The two that go into her kidneys through in the back, they're both being changed. I changed the bags, the night bags and the the actual tubes that go into the kidney are being changed as well as realigning the uh, catheter change again so the catheter change is a little bit sooner than would normally be planned but they're going to realign it in with the nephrostomy change tube change so that if Suze is lucky enough to keep going in three months they'll be ready to be done at the same time again and we can only hope that 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 that, that, that will happen um the <clears throat> hemoglobin in her blood for that last stent removal and catheter change operation we've only just found out was really low and they still went ahead with the operation so I mean, that just goes to show, doesn't it? I suppose when when you're as, um, in a position that Suze is in, if something needs to be done, just do it. Because it just needs to be done. So if haemoglobin's a bit low, I think with other people, they probably wouldn't take take the risk because it's not so important. Um, to their quality of life because they're not their life isn't restricted maybe their lifespan isn't restricted so that blood work will go off today I have to leave the room when she gets that done I can't watch I'm the, I'm the I'm the twin that needs to use numbing cream for every single uh injection that I ever have I keep it with me in my bag keep a tube with me in my bag because my phobia is that that strong isn't it crazy and I've had so many operations so many accidents so many things put right ACL ligaments <laughs> so many things done I should be used to it by now Susie hadn't had any operation or anything in her whole life up until she was diagnosed. How ironic is that? She was the safe one. She was the one that kept herself safe and didn't put herself through any risk. No dangerous hobbies or anything. <sighs> right. Turkey and Tropicana. Well, I got the 
Tropicana, £4.10 this is now a bottle. Well, what Susie wants, Susie gets. £4.10. It is a big one though. I got you a present. Open your eyes. Oh. <laughs> I washed it, which is why it is wet. That is really cute. It is cute, isn't it? <laughs> and I got you your orange juice, so you'll see it go all the way up the straw. Mm. It's cute. Mm. That's so hospital and it's just a few issues surrounding blood work and things like that that needed to be addressed really quite quickly um, along with ECGs and things like that but everything's fine basically what's been said is that nothing is really different to what it was before the levels are all raised and at a, a dangerous level but um, it's just how it's just how it is so there's been some a massive increase in antibiotics um To try and kick butt for any sort of sepsis going on. Uh, not that it is, but the doctor said he's treating it as urinary sepsis um, and quite a bad one just to make sure that he's covering all bases. And the fluids are to get the potassium and the calcium lower because high potassium and um, you're in danger of cardiac arrest and although Suze does have a DNAR she has been given the option that if something's gonna go wrong or it's going wrong does she want to go to hospital and get on top of it if that if that's an option and that and she did so it's now Uh, 20 past midnight um, there's no way for me to sleep because we're in recess so I'm just um, push two little chairs together and uh, I'll be alright and um, we saw a couple of the staff that we'd known from the hospital before that were lovely so that was nice and god I was just so tired they've got so has got two loads of cannulas in but hopefully hopefully now all the cannulas in and everything's being done she can just relax as much as she can and, and maybe sleep through with the painkillers and and things like that. So I'm just in the um, one of the 
accessible loose. <laughs> right, I best go back out to her then. I'll try and keep you all posted as much as I can. So I've set that myself up here. morning everybody Susie's awake it is 13 minutes past eight got a cracking headache slept on my little bed as I showed you last night well I didn't I slept in a chair with my head against that wall Susie's up taking all the meds and eating a strawberry yogurt and they've bought me it does look like wallpaper paste but I'm telling you hospital porridge is just the best and a coffee But um, it was an unexpected visit, so you're feeling, not feeling any different, are you? Not really. No, not, not feeling any different to what she was. Um, they just insisted that she came in to do this ECG and chest x-ray and things and get the levels right in the, in the blood. Um, we haven't actually been for the chest x-ray as yet. Me to hold it. She can't bend her arms because the cannulas are in the crease of her arm. So I'm just going to hold the yoghurt while she 
she can bend her left arm because there's nothing attached to that one, but the right one's still got some attached. So yeah, just, um, oh gosh, look at my frown lines. <laughs> Nice. So hopefully we won't be here too long. Get that chest chest X-ray done. There's 40 minutes left on that drip. And oh, they want to take bloods again to just check that potassium and calcium level. Potassium in the blood. Well, and calcium in the blood can be extremely dangerous. Done. Um, so it's very, it's very important that they bring that down. And I'm not too sure why they want the chest X-ray, but sometimes it's best not to ask. Okay. So it's, I don't know if you heard that. She want, they want to check the breathing and the X-ray to make sure they've not missed anything. Put that in the bin. Um, so not not much more to report. We've met some lovely staff. Paramedic staff were amazing. Um, and the healthcare assistant slash nurse is he a nurse? I'm not sure. No, because he wants to train to do paramedic, doesn't he? Yeah. Met a lovely lad. He's clocked off now and gone home. They do 12 and a half hour shifts. Um, and he said he also volunteers for the ambulance service around that. That they're the people that the NHS need. But they, but uh, uh, when he left, I said to Sue, what life does he get working a 12 and a half hour shift and then volunteering around that? Just a gem. Uh, I've had two packets of <laughs> proper cocktail crisps through the night. <laughs> uh, bottle of Fanta, a bottle of Pepsi. I just couldn't sleep. I just couldn't sleep on that. Um, but yeah, hopefully we won't be here too much longer and we can just get back, get snuggled into bed, shut the curtains. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you heard that. So you said spot the deliberate mistake. So obviously not filming Sue's because we're in the bathroom. Um, and luckily I'm here with her. But if I wasn't, I'm just going to flip the camera. What's that? Seven foot up there. So luckily Susie doesn't need to pull the emergency cord because I'm with her. But I also don't think I'd be able to reach that unless I trod on the toilet because it... I wouldn't be able to reach that. Straight on. No, no, no. Don't crash. Don't crash. No, no. It's not that one. I've just, I've just come out of um, A and E because my auntie and my brothers try to ring me, and um, I know me and Sue's and Kevin Terry were estranged from him for a long while, but we've, we've just heard that our dad's died. <laughs> I don't know how much more that that, <laughs> that we can take at the minute, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go back in and tell her. Or do I? Do I? No, I'm gonna have to tell her because I can't. I can't hide it. <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go. And uh, I will. I just need a bit of time. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> I I just um, I can't believe it. Just it's just too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back into series and then figure out what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Sorry.